holy, holy buckets of snow, Alaska. Put me, <laughs> put me down. <laughs> Life that we have been blessed. Welcome back to Modern Homestead, Alaska. I am Jessica. I'm the snow power. <laughs> got more snow. We got more snow. So join us today as a look and a comparison, if you will, between using a snow blower and a tractor. The difference between what we get hit with at our homestead and what our cabin, our off-grid cabin, gets hit with in Willow. Plus the ways that we do it and everything that has to get done is totally different between the two homes. So won't you join us as we get into it? Let's go. Oh friends, it is negative 11 out. That is so cold, like it's so cold, I'm shaking. Um, I got the snowblower started and I am going to work a little at the cabin while Caleb is gone and try and at least clear a path from the car to the cabin, so on and so forth. But that is preheating and I am going to get on some coveralls and stuff because it is freezing here in Alaska right now. Go, it's too cold for you. Come on. You don't even have your coat on. that the generator's running because I'm charging the battery just as best as I can <laughs> get it. The roof has sloughed off twice and if you don't get to it fast enough and then it had rain this is kind of like a ball of ice 
right here, but we can get to the outhouse. And now I'm gonna do the porch and hand shovel so we can get to the generator. Holy, holy buckets of snow, Alaska. Look at that, that's all. There's the hand. You can get to the potty now. <laughs> That's a big deal. Oh, girl. Oh, Tipper, how deep is it? Blue. Oh my gosh, Grandpa, what does his sweater say? What? What does Blue's sweater say? Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Oh, Birdo, did you get a Chrissy sweater? It's so warm out, and Tipper got what? What'd she get, babe? I don't know what that thing is. It's a dress, it's a sweater dress. She doesn't know either. Did you do that to your dogs? I mean, that'd be my daughter. That would be your daughter? Have Did we ever put outfits on our dogs before our daughter? No. no. Never once. Never once. She's the most concerned for the dog's apparel of all of our family. All right, last weekend, Last weekend, this was all clear. The cows pinned the whole nine yards, and here we are again. This is not repeat footage, new footage. <laughs> Look at that. you make another bed? Are you the best snow bed maker? <laughs> All right, so I'm getting ready to go here. Gonna have to put a little puppy back inside so I don't get him caught up in a tire or something like that. So, please put him up for me. Yeah, I will. Blue, Grandpa says inside for you. Let's go. Come on, Bubba. Come on, buddy. Inside. Head inside. The wind is a lot for the drone. It? Look at it. It's bouncing it everywhere. Is that, is that uh, the Christmas gas? Huh? Is that the Christmas gas? The diesel? The battle of the camera. <laughs> Who wins?
predicament. When you ask your husband to give you the good footage. <laughs> okay. driveway marker. It's feeling incredibly short today. What happened? <laughs> Dad doesn't know it's up there. Well, it was only at 60%. So they... Probably around like 25 but, minutes. But it's warm. What's the temperature out today? Like 35, 40. <laughs> 35, 40 degrees. It's actually quite nice for the amount of snow we got, which is why we got the amount of snow we got. If it was blistering, negative 11, 12, 13, those temperatures, we don't get snow like this. So when you see dumps of snow, the temperatures are actually fairly nice. This huge area here of no trees, those of you that were around already know, but those of you that are new, this area was cleared for a shop. Alaska did what Alaska does, which was unpredictable weather. And then we had a lot of settling happen on the ground where we had done all of the dirt work. That all got to get fixed and it rained so much that it was just like wetlands all summer but that will eventually be a shop, but it makes for a great place for Aaron to clear the snow right now. Even though it's Sunday family night dinner, I am not making the dinner tonight, Cody is. So we're not capturing all of it. Really, really sorry to disappoint anyone. It actually happens to be my birthday. And so Aaron and the kids have an entire plan for me. Well, he's doing snow, Wyatt's doing chores, and Cody is making my dinner. And Caleb will be on his way here shortly. So I just wanna give you a little tidbit that the whole dinner won't be on this video, but that's okay. We'll catch it next time. Babe, you did so good. Oh, oh it's icy again. Oh.
three of them on there? Do it. 44. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jessica. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> if you've gotten to this point, you might be interested in what the channel announcement is right here at the end of the video. If you're not, go ahead and click off. I'll see you in the next one. Those of you that are curious what is going on and moving forward here on the homestead, I have some exciting news. We're totally revamping our channel in 2024 and we couldn't be more excited. We have decided to take the last two years of learning and experiences, video making, editing, and actually put it to good use. We want to make for you in 2024 the best videos that we have ever made. We want to learn and grow our channel and we want to think <laughs> I don't know if I can get through it. We want to thank you guys that have loved and supported me through all the ups and downs of this channel over the last couple of years. You have stood by my side through thick and thin health and struggles, and I could not be more grateful for the viewership that I have. And in thanks to you, we want to make the channel moving forward the best that we possibly can. To do that, we made a tough decision. The tough decision is we have decided not to actually put out any more videos for the rest of 2023. The reason is, is we are recording to do the best editing we possibly can. It's taking a lot more time and we would like to get some really fantastic videos for you guys built up so that we coming back on January 1st can actually show you what we've been up to and the best possible videos. We've gone back and forth <laughs> probably 20 times on should we, should we not, should we, should we not and my gut and my heart just say I want to do this and I want to do it now and I want to do it for you guys. I want to make it the best it possibly can. A bright, uplifting place where you come to visit our little corner of Alaska, if you will, on our little homestead where we are just enjoying the life that we have been blessed. Well, that was real and unscripted. Ice and a dog. I'm totally fine. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? Anyway, with that, thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting our journey. The new year is coming. It is bright and beautiful on the horizon. And we cannot wait to actually share that with you. So until the new year, Merry Merry Christmas. God bless each and every one of you. May he keep you. May he draw you to his side. May you know that you are loved and you are cherished through this holiday season. We absolutely love, adore, and appreciate you. And I will be back January 1st to wish you a happy new year. I hope you choose to stick around. I'll see you and I'll give some updates through comments, maybe some shorts, but no long form video. I hope you understand. I appreciate you. Thank you.